Can you talk about specific studies or uh, research on bone olive <coughs> and, and what some of the results have, have shown? Mm -hmm. Bone olive has in fact been studied in, in over uh, 20 different studies. Those studies range from, from cell culture studies, which means that they take cells from humans and they really put the compound, the active compound in combination with the cells and they looked at the development of these bone forming cells. So that's really taking it in a very most simple approach. You take the cell, you put the compound on top and you see what is the, what is the result. Of course, this is an isolated investigation. You don't really know what will happen with bone formation. So that's why a number of animal studies uh, were also performed. In these animal studies, you work with a model, which is a rat model, which develops osteoporosis. So it's a very well-known and well-established model. If you don't treat the animal um, with, with a test product, it will spontaneously develop osteoporosis. So we use this well-known model to combine, to, to give the bone olive and the active compound to the animals. And we could really see that these animals were completely protected against development of osteoporosis. So this was already a very fine, very nice proof that, in fact, it's not only just in, 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 in cell cultures that this thing works, but it also works in animals. Now, an animal is, of course, not yet a human mm -hmm. being. So the next step was that we had to test this also in humans. Now, as bone development and, and bone metabolism is a very slow process, you cannot just give your product once and look at the results in humans. You have to keep giving the product for a long time. So what we did was, in fact, we did a 12-month study in which we gave 64 people either a placebo or our bone olive product for a period of 12 months. So for a full year, people took either placebo or our active compound, and we monitored how bone formation was stimulated in these individuals. Now, very interesting was that we saw a 32% increase in the most important marker of bone formation, which is osteocalcin, a generally accepted marker for, for bone formation. This marker increased with, six, with 32% as opposed to the placebo. At the same time, we could also see that individuals were protected against further bone loss um, which we measured, in fact, by actually looking at their bone structure, at their bone mineral density, by means of a DEXA scan. So this means we have the data in vitro in animals, but also in a placebo-controlled double-blind uh, clinical study, the golden standard of, of clinical studies. Mm -hmm. And the last study that we then actually performed, we knew it works in vitro, we knew it works in animals, and we saw that it works in, in humans. The last step that we then had to, to investigate to complete the story is see whether the active compound, this hydroxytorazole, the metabolite of oleropin, also can be found back in the body. Because if we can find it back in the body and we see that there is an activity, we can really make the final link between our product and the, uh, and the protection against bone loss. And this we did in a bioavailability study in which we gave the product and actually found that there was a very good bioavailability, a very good circulation in the blood of the active compound. Mm -hmm. Now, a very interesting finding that we also did in the clinical study and for which we also have mechanistic data is that the product is not only active towards bone health, but also has a very positive effect on blood lipids and blood cholesterol. So this means it also has a cardiovascular endpoint. Now, we had already expected that this would occur because from our mechanistic studies, we found out that the, um, the, the bone-forming cells, that those cells, they are formed from what we call stem cells. So stem cells are the very early precursor cells present in our bones, which then differentiate, which transform into bone cells. Now, the same precursor cells, they can, instead of transforming into bone cells, they can also transform into adipocytes, which are lipid storing, lipid storing cells. Yeah? Because what you typically see in osteoporosis is that this balance between the transformation of these precursor cells into bone forming cells or into these adipocytes, that that shifts more and more towards adipocytes. In fact, you, in fact, you get some kind of a fattening of your bone marrow which you get old. And this is, in to a large extent, associated also with osteoporosis, because if your precursor goes towards fat storage cells, it doesn't go towards bone forming cells. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What we found out was that bone olive very specifically supports the transformation of those stem cells into the bone forming cells, which makes that you have less adipocytes, less lipid storing cells, and you can actually also improve 
your lipid metabolism by taking um, bone olive. Can you talk about the safety of the product? And, and <coughs> a lot of people might think if my bones are bad off, I better take a little bit more. I mean, is that mm -hmm. safe to do if they end up doing that? Olives and, and, and olive leaves in general have a very long history of consumption. Mm -hmm. Everybody eats olives, has, has olive oil, etc. Mm -hmm. So as such, there's already a very good safety. Now, important is also that there are other types of olive extracts which, which exist. And also, in sp these very specific olive leaf extracts, never any negative side effects were found. This is just uh, the history of safe use, as they call it, mm -hmm. which you can see already that there is no tendency of, of having negative, uh, negative problems. Of course, if we want to develop our product for a very specific endpoint, we also have to be sure that our type of extract is safe. So BioActor has performed safety investigations, has performed it in animals, has performed it also in humans, and no side effects were noted. So the, per the product is perfectly safe for human consumption, mm -hmm. even over longer periods as was shown in this 12-month clinical study. You said that this is uh, bone olive is something people should take for a longer period of time. When would they start noticing <coughs> a difference? Obviously, they have to be tested. They wouldn't feel anything, right? Mm -hmm. But when would when could they notice a difference in, in their mm -hmm. bone strength? One of the difficulties, of course, with, with bone health is that it's indeed a very slow process. If you look at a, pro uh, a product which, which lowers your blood pressure, you will notice that immediately. Mm -hmm. Here, people will not feel immediately that, that they have very strong bones again. Mm -hmm. What we saw was that in fact when we did this study and uh, we took, we, we investigated the, invest, uh, the people after 3, 6 and 12 months that already from 3 months on we could really see that this trend of bone loss was, was inversed and that there was an increase, a gradual increase over time of this, of this uh, osteocalcin of this marker. So as early as 3 months we could already see uh, an effect which is nice. Of course if you want really to have an, uh, a long-term protection and a long-term prevention of osteoporosis, you should take the product as early as from 30, 40 years, because at that age already the bone loss process starts to, mm -hmm. to become more important and continue taking the product over a very long period.